I'm a pretty lazy person when it comes to keeping my computer uh, clutter free and it's generally everyone that uses computer have this problem okay so let me give you an example uh, you're a computer user you go online you download a lot of shit it saves it to your download folder and uh, you have a big pile and you you think that one day you're gonna clean it but you're too lazy to do it and uh, you have a big mess like this okay so this is my download folder I have a lot of shit here some of them probably two or three months old or whatever but um, you know you're too lazy to do it manually so let me give you an example of what this um, thing that we're gonna do here so we're gonna make a script that will look at all the files in here and determine which one is uh, X amount of days old and it's gonna send it to the trash can so let me give you an example if I um, right click on this one go to properties you see this one is um, the modified date is back in May 12th so that was like a month ago right that's pretty old and I don't use it but it's still here and um, what we're gonna do is make this uh, the script that will look at all the files and uh, do that for us okay so this is our script here it's pretty easy like two or three line of code it's not that hard but the first thing you want to do is tell it to use bin bash okay so um, we're using bash here and um, what I recommend is send it to the trash can so we're gonna define where the trash can is located at so we're gonna put trash can equals the path of the trash can this is is where um, if you're using Ubuntu this is where your trash can is located at okay um, and then we're gonna use this uh, find command so this find command is basically find uh, files in uh, the download folder everything in the download folder that's what the star means everything in there and um, look for it uh, if it's over 15 days here it's gonna execute move to the trash can so it's gonna look for files that's over 15 days and send it to the trash can all right otherwise if you want to not move it and just remove it uh, totally and bypass the trash can itself you can always use uh, remove and then you don't have no trash can or nothing just remove okay that's the only difference so what I have is I'm gonna go one by one here so the first thing is we're gonna send uh, the files to the trash can okay so let's save this and uh, let's execute this and it'll just um, look for files that's over 15 days old and it's gonna send it to the trash can which is here okay and there you go it sends uh, 32 files to the trash can now what I like to do is um, let me see um, the first 15 days it'll go to the trash can and sometimes you know you say oh I might need it after uh, 15 days you can always look in the trash can right but after like um, maybe 20 days uh, you would delete it because that's you know beyond the time that you would actually want to use the file so that's why I have this second part here uh, which I like to use it's like a, a fail safe kind of thing so find trash can um, like files in the trash can everything in the trash can here and if the file is over 20 days uh, remove it because I don't need it after 20 days um, so if I execute this now so I have 32 files in my trash folder if I run it it should delete some of them okay and let's refresh this and it deletes uh, a lot of them and now you have 13 files only okay so that's what I use but generally um, I put was it this one is the first month so I put 30 days for this one and this one is 60 days so I gave it a two months max okay before I totally delete it uh, from my computer so the first one is just the first month the second one is just like a fail safe uh, the second month it will actually delete it so that's what I use and um, all you gotta do is set it now is set it to your cron tab and I'll do it automatically for you okay when you run your script uh, if you want more information on how to do like different stuff um, you can do, actually do like under 30 days or not hours but minutes or you know seconds or whatever uh, if you want to do like seconds or minutes you can do that too but um, let me uh, show you this is the the manual for it so man fine okay and in here is where you can read up on more of these stuff 
uh, what is this here? What is it? The path and so that's all you gotta do is go here and read some of these and uh, play around with the commands if um, you know you're looking for something like this to do automatically for you. Otherwise, uh, that's it for that one. Let me uh, close this one off first.